Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Gentleman Jack from the RAR collection and Alakazam Magic. All right, so what is this? Uh, basically, this is a Himber wallet. It's a really well-made Himber wallet. Originally, it was released from RAR. That was a magic company that was run by Roy Roth. Uh, Alakazam purchased all the rights to their effects, or their back catalog, actually. And this is Alakazam's new release of a classic effect. You wanna see the trailer? This is it. Have you ever wanted to be able to switch cards, billets, or currency right under your spectators' noses? The Gentleman Jack allows you to do just that, and it's built into an innocent-looking, hip-pocket-style Himba wallet. Not only can the gentleman invisibly switch, but this awesome little tool makes for a great add a number pad and the perfect hideout for your cribs. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try something with you if that's okay. Uh, but you've still gotta work very carefully. Um, I'll start by showing you a card that's in my wallet and I'm just gonna leave this on the table. Uh, it, it's gonna use 52 cards and your hands. So, I'd like you to deal the cards one at a time face down on the table. Uh, but they can come from anywhere. They haven't got to come from the top, they literally can come from anywhere. Whenever you want, you stop. Okay? Is that good? Yeah. All right, the rest of the cards can go away. Uh, they're not needed anymore, it's these cards. So pick the, the pack up for me. And you're gonna create a card that even you didn't know you were gonna pick. So I want you to do two piles of the cards all the way through, that's it. And one of the piles is gonna give us the value and the other is gonna give us the suit. Okay, so uh, if you turn over the top two cards for me, we got the three of hearts and the 10 of cups, right? So this could be the value, which will give us the 10, and then that would be the suit, which would 10 of hearts, or three of clubs. Right. It is on you. What would you like? Three of clubs. The three of clubs. Yes, now I'm gonna give you one chance to change your mind, because you might kick yourself when you see this card. No, I'm gonna stick with the three of clubs. You sure? Yeah, please. Look, I showed you there was one card in my wallet. I'm gonna take it out, there's nothing else in there. And crazy enough, that is. Oh, wow. That's a pretty <laughs> perfect match. <laughs> Thank you guys. Cheers. I'm Peter Nardi, and this is the Gentleman Jack gimmick. So it is a Himber wallet, like I said, and if you don't know what it is, go familiarize yourself with it because the Himber wallet is a really great classical utility that I think a lot of magicians have grown to love. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic tricks, and the first of which is, What's in the box? What's in the box? You're getting a really cool hard shell box, okay? It's a really nice uh, black matte box. It's got silver uh, foil graphics on the top. And then on the inside, you're gonna get the Gentleman Jack gimmick. You're also gonna get the DVD. The DVD is 39 minutes long, and you're gonna get a little stack of post-it notes. Is it what I thought? Yes, it's a Himber wallet. Uh, they don't make any uh, secrecy about that. It's, there's, no, there's nothing to hide there. It is a Himber wallet. It is what I thought as far as the execution of the effect, but it is a really nice product. How are the angles on this? Uh, pretty much zero. If you're already familiar with the Himber wallet, you know how it works. Uh, there's really no angles to catch. I think if you're quick with it, you're familiar with it, and you know how to move around it, your spectators should never see a thing. Can it be inspected? Uh, with that said, no. Uh, we always kind of say around here that it's a gimmick and gimmick shouldn't be inspected so it should not be inspected but I think you fairly show the wallet from both sides and then the inside uh, the trick isn't the wallet the trick should always be the trick you're doing right so the wallet should always come across as a utility it should always come across as just a as this window dressing you know something that's in the that's something that's in the background uh, they should never want to inspect your wallet when the end of the trick is done what's the overall quality and production value of the video uh, Peter Nardi's at the beginning he introduces all of this David Luce Lee uh, is sitting in the Alakazam studio. He's talking to a stationary camera. You do get some secondary shots of the tabletop uh, and everything's well mic'd. It's a well shot video. Alakazam makes great DVDs. 
All right, so what's taught on the DVD? Uh, of course, you're going to get an overview of the wallet. You're going to get a little bit of backstory about RAR. Um, but throughout the video, David Loosely is going to teach you some different options that you could use the Himber wallet for. Obviously, if you already have a routine or something that you currently use a Himber wallet for or some sort of prediction effect where you know that you could use a Himber wallet, especially where there's two outs. I think if you have a trick that has two outs, a Himber wallet is a great addition. Okay, so think about that uh, when you go to purchase. But you're basically going to learn a book page force, okay? You're going to learn Daryl's dream card force. Uh, you're going to learn another trick where there's a free card selection and then a prediction that uses a blanket deck. Then they're going to offer to you the idea that you could use this also with a crib. So this could be a hidden way to keep a crib in, st in, in plain view uh, so that you didn't have to memorize your crib. And this is actually how I use the Gentleman Jack. I don't use it as a Himber wallet per se with two outs. I use it as a crib hideaway for Will to Read. Will to Read is an effect that Alakazam released er, and I did a review on earlier. I hide my Will to Read crib in one of the wings of the Himber wallet and I use it as my prediction slash crib hideout. All right, so another thing that's taught on the DVD is the uh, aspect of the post-it notes, okay? So they include post-it notes with your box, and David Loosely suggests that you take the post-it notes, you tear off three or four or five, and you you post-it note them, you stick them to the other side of the wallet, the blank side. And if you look at my video, you can see that I have some post-it notes on the other side. I thought that was a great idea. When I went to go take those post-it notes and stick them to the wallet, I quickly discovered they don't stick. Post-it notes don't stick to leather because Post-it notes are meant to stick to paper, and leather is actually an organic material. Think about how uh, post-it notes would stick to your jeans or to your shirt, right? It, it, they just don't stick. And leather is just really too smooth. It's way too smooth of a surface for post-it notes to get any grip off of. So here's what I did. I took one post-it note, I took one, okay? And I trimmed it down smaller than an average post-it note size, and then I glue-sticked it to my wallet. Okay, I glue sticked the post-it note to my wallet and then I took the additional post-it notes and I stuck them, post-it note sticky, I stuck them to the one I had glued on. So my one that was glued on became like a paper base, like a paper foundation, and then I was able to stick post-it notes to it that I can recycle over and over again, and I think that's a great idea. Is it well made? It is very well made. It's a leather wallet, it's really well made, it looks good, it's got a great feel to it, and unlike other Himber wallets where they kind of look stand out-ish, like they just don't look natural, this is a natural looking wallet. How much setup and reset is there? Pretty much none. Uh, like I said, it is a, a, a two out uh, utility, and so usually you load both sides of the wallet and then you're good to go. You never need to reset it ever again. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to the Gentleman Jack? Uh, the Gentleman Jack is the working magician's Himber wallet. No more strange looking checkbook style devices. This is the wallet you'll be proud to carry. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we stayed around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, Throughout the video, David Loosely talks about putting business cards in, in the wallet to make it look natural, okay? And then also using it as a way to like, you know, in mentalism, sometimes we pull our business cards out and you write in the back and then we use the wallet as a way to store the business cards. That said, uh, this is a European style wallet. And what some people don't realize is, and I think maybe even the guys on Alakazam don't realize this, is that American style business cards are longer and shorter. Uh, European style business cards are shorter this way and taller. I don't know why that is, it just is. So when, it sh when the video shows David loosely sticking his business cards in the wallet, if you're purchasing this in America, yours won't fit, okay? You'll have to cut a lot off of the sides to get this in. In fact, a standard playing card doesn't even fit, okay? So that's just giving you the idea of the scope. You could not stick a standard playing card into the pockets in the wallet, okay, so it's just the pockets. There is a front flap, there is a front flap, and the front flap will hold uh, one of your business cards and it will hold uh, a playing card, okay? So, I mean, I think that, and I show you in my video, I'll, I'll show you that there's, I have a playing card in the front of mine. You just can't put something like that in the, in the back, okay? That's the only negative I have for the entire thing. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, it's $69, $69, 
that's, you know, you know, leather wallets now, they're $50 and above. So it's kind of hard to find a leather wallet that's below 50. There are some gimmick wallets out there in the market that are in the $40 range. This is $69, so 70 bucks pretty much. Um, and it is kind of high for a leather wallet. It is kind of high just for a Himber wallet. It's really a one hit wonder. It only does one thing. This is not a multi-use wallet. This, it really only does what a Himber wallet does. It, you know, it has two outs. There's, there's nothing extra or fancy about it other than the, the, the uh, 39 minute video that they give you with it. Uh, but a lot of us magicians, we could figure out some of these tricks ourselves or have used Timber wallets in the past. So you'll have to decide if you think $69 is worth the leather wallet. Like I said though, it's great, it's well made and it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic, it looks great, really well made. Uh, you might totally dig on this and might totally love it, but just kind of shop around and make sure this is the right price tag and the right gimmick for you. All right, so who would like this? I think people who are looking for a really made Himber wallet, there's a lot of garbage Himber wallets out there. I used to have one that was the checkbook style and it was made out of vinyl and it was brown and it had like a weird texture on it to make it look like leather. It was awful and I got rid of it so fast and I, I think you can still buy that one. It's still out there on the market today. And then there's the Z wallet that's out there too, but the Z wallet doesn't even look like a real Himber. It looks like a Z, you know, and I don't know if it would even fool anyone. So uh, as far as Himber wallets go, there are they're not a lot out there that look this good and are this size. Okay. So I think if you're look in the market, definitely should check this one out. All right, so that is my review of the Gentleman Jack from RAR and Alakazam. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.